Kelly from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm grateful to Niyogi Books to have invited me to Poetry at Midnight reading series. I'm going to read poems of an Iraqi novelist, poet, translator, Sinan Antun. I choose to read his poem to an Iraqi infant because at this time of pandemic, I'm thinking about the future and the children in the future. When you think of children, you think about the safety and it is not only from a pandemic, but also from greed, ignorance, war, crimes. So here to an Iraqi infant. Do you know that your mother's nipples are dry bones? That her breasts are bursting with depleted uranium? Do you know that the womb's window overlooks a confiscated land? Do you know that your tomorrow has no tomorrow, that your blood is the ink of new maps? Do you know that your mother is weaving the slowness of her moments into an elegy? And she's already mourning. Don't be shy, your funeral is over. The tears are dry, everyone's gone. Come forward, it's only a short way. Don't be late, your grave is looking at its watch. Don't be afraid, we'll arrange your bones whichever way you want and leave your skull like a flower on top. Come forward, your many friends await. There are more every day, every day. Your ghosts will play together. Come on. The next I'm going to read a series of poems titled Wrinkles on the Wind's Forehead. The wind is a blind mother stumbling over the corpses. No shrouds save the clouds, but the dogs are much faster. The moon is a graveyard for light. The stars women wailing. The wind was tired from carrying the coffins and leaned against a palm tree. A satellite inquired, where to now? The silence in the winds came, murmured, Baghdad, and the palm tree caught fire. The soldiers' fingers scrape and scrabble like question marks or sickles. They search the womb of the wind for weapons, nothing but smoke and depleted uranium. How narrow is this strait which sleeps between two wars, but I must cross it. My heart is a stork perched on a distant dome in Baghdad. Its nest made of bones, its sky of death. This is not the first time myths wash their face with our blood. There, here they are looking in horizon's mirror as they dawn our bones. War salivates, tyrants and historians pant. A wrinkle smiles on the face of a child who will play during a break between wars. The Euphrates is a long procession. Cities pat its shoulders as palm trees weep. The child plays in time's garden. The child plays in time's garden, but war calls upon her from inside. Come on in. The grave is a mirror. The grave is a mirror into which the child looks and dreams. When will I grow up and be like my father, my father dead? The Tigris and Euphrates are two strings. The Tigris and Euphrates are two strings in death's lute, and we are songs, our fingers strumming. For two and a half wars, I've been here in this room. For two and a half wars, I have been here in this room whose window is a grave that I'm afraid of opening. There's a mirror on the wall when I stand before it. There's a mirror on the wall when I stand before it naked. My bones laugh and I hear death's fingers tickling the door. The last one. 
I place my ear on the belly of this moment. I place my ear on the belly of this moment. I hear wailing. I put it on another moment. I put it on another moment the same. So thank you friends. I hope uh, you've liked these poems and they make all of us thoughtful about how to secure the future of our children, how to make this world uh, less ridden with, with wars, hatred, crime, conflict. 